Made it to episode number 122. Oh, wow. Thanks for watching every single one of those. Yeah, we know you have. <laughs> yeah. I I'm Brad Chmielewski. My name is Ken Hunnameter. Special yeah. guest. I'm Joe Kenichi. Yeah. Yeah, we have kind of a, a special treat for you homebrewers out there. Uh, Joe here is the developer of the iPhone app. Uh, you can get it on the iPad as well, iBrewMaster. So basically, it will you know help you track along your brew day, and, and you can tell us more about that. But it's a it's a nice little tool. I used it actually yesterday, and uh, had some great success with it. So tell us a little bit. Um, oh well, first we get to go along with oh our oh yeah since, talking. We got Ken's beer here. Yeah, since we're doing kind of like a homebrew type of day today, this is my milk stout uh, that we poured off the the nitro tap. So uh, cheers, guys. And this is the expiration milk stout? The expiration date milk stout, yes. So you are, uh, you are yourself a home brewer uh, and also kind of like a techie computer guy. So between the two of you, I, I hope that I can keep up with all the computer <laughs> talk. Uh, I do like to drink beer, but I uh, <laughs> don't know too much about computers. But uh, you were telling an interesting story about how you kind of came up with the idea for even just doing the app in the first place. Yeah. Well, I've always been into computers and development, but I started home brewing and just absolutely loved it. And I started brewing probably way too much, mm -hmm. which I'm sure many of us can relate to. So I had four or five, six carboys going at a time, and I couldn't keep track of, uh, you know, when certain batches had to be transferred to the primary or the secondary and, you know, bottled and what have mm -hmm. you. So I was kind of messing all that up. So I figured, let me write an app just to kind of keep track of that. So the first version of the iBrewMaster, that's really all it did. It just kind of allowed you to enter your recipes and kind of track them and tell you, you know, your dates. Um, He's very interested. So. Uh -huh. yeah. so you just kind of started homebrewing in the last, what, five, five, four or five Probably years? Probably three years. Three, okay. Probably three years now, yeah. Yeah, you really sunk your teeth into it if you if you got six beers fermenting at one time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely loved it, so... I released iBrewMaster last June, uh, June 2010, and I liked, uh, uh, or I should say a lot of people liked the app so much that I started getting so much feedback asking for other features that I just kept developing and developing, kept adding features, and it's a really full-featured app now that I get a lot of amazing feedback from all over the world, which is what's mm -hmm. really been amazing. I get emails from Australia, uh, Finland, uh, Brazil. I got an email from uh, Lebanon. Wow. You know, so, I mean, it's really, I, I've been the number one app in the lifestyles category in over 13 countries and oh, countries awesome. that I wouldn't even expect, you know, Ecuador, you know, and, and things sure. like that where right. I wouldn't really kind of didn't expect that kind of response. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they're doing their fermentation yeah. temps over there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you, I mean, you weren't even expecting to sell that many. I mean, uh, you're... no, we joke about that because my wife, uh, you know, when I first put the app out there, I asked her how many copies you think I'm going to sell. And she said, probably 22 copies the first year. <laughs> and we're now approaching 5,000 copies. Wow. So, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. So tell us uh, some of the things that you can actually do with the app and, uh, kind of how it makes, it really does make the, the, the brew day a lot easier to log. Right. So, so yeah, you got the is. iPad version, it's easier to see. Yes. You know? <laughs> iPad version is a, a really nice, it's really slick. That's that's what I primarily use just because of the extra screen space and sure. being able to do things. So first of all, iBrewMaster comes with 50 uh, recipes pre-installed and then there's these add-on packs. Right. You can instantly have up to 330 recipes. Right yeah, that's a, also a nice thing if you're just planning on, you know, I, I just want to brew today, I don't know what I'm going to do. And you can just, just yeah. flip yeah, through it. Even for a good base recipe, you know, you might want to just pick a base recipe and start modifying it, you mm -hmm. know. And, and while you do it in real time, you can see how your changes to the recipe affect right. everything. Like from you know the original gravity final gravity the alcohol content your ibus the color mm -hmm. 
you know, even uh, down to the calories, so uh, not that we're too concerned about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, has hundreds of uh, grains and hops, uh, yeasts from around the world. You can add all of your own. Uh, if something's missing, you can add it. Uh, I have users that drop me a line and ask me to add a different grain or a hop, and I always uh, try to add those in as I have new version releases. But even if it's not there, you can go ahead and add your Just own do it yourself, ingredients. Right? Exactly. So once you've done that and you have your recipes, the way the app is designed to be is this recipe database collection. And then when you go to spin off a batch, you say, hey, I want to brew today. And, you, and you, then you select new and you pick which recipe you want to make. And based on today's date and the fermentation schedule that you gave your recipe, it will automatically set up all the steps that you have to do. Mm -hmm. It will tell you you brewed okay. it today. It should go to the secondary, you know, for seven days from now. It should go to the... Uh, bottle or keg 14 days from then, whatever you have based on your fermentation right. schedule. And then you could also set up reminders so that it can actually uh, send you an alert and pop up on your device, whether it's an iPhone or iPad, you know, one or two days early. And you can set what time you want to get that notification so that you don't forget about your brew. If yeah. If you're drinking all those beers, it's easy to forget. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I need because I needed someone to be like, hey, Ken, you're a dumbass. You were supposed to put that beer in secondary four days ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You want to drink it, don't you? That's it. <laughs> kind of ruin it. So after that, um, I started adding just more and more features. Um, I added a, a recipe sharing network. So even if you don't want to you know, purchase the add-on recipe packs, I have a free recipe sharing network that users from around the world, you can take any of the recipes that you've put in the device and you can upload them mm -hmm. for free. And any other iBrewmaster user can connect to that network, browse the recipes that are posted. I think we have maybe 150 that are posted already. And you can select it and download it directly to your device. Device. Can you see free. which user shared it, or is it just kind of selective? I, I keep the user's information private. The only thing that we do post is the username. So okay. when you create your uh, account for the recipe sharing network, you just you know choose a name, you know Brewmaster, okay. Brewman, so you can or whatever. Be like, oh, and there's Ken's beers. Exactly. I know the last one I brewed of his was really good. I'm gonna do this one. Okay. Exactly. Yes. That would never happen, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> And you can even, oh, like, for... pretty good. Oh, thank you. Uh, as far as the sharing and stuff, I see you pulled it up here. Um, I, a lot of people that watch this show are on, on the Twitters and using the internets, and you can even just, like, uh, automatically update your, your statuses on Facebook. Yes, I added a, uh, both Facebook and Twitter features where uh, you can use this app to post, but you can also set a switch to automatically post to your wall or to tweet when, mm -hmm. you, when you've uh, done a brew. So if I create a batch today, if I set up my account here, it automatically posts on my Facebook while, you know, my Oktoberfest will be ready to drink. You know, I'm currently brewing a Oktoberfest with iBrewmaster. It'll be ready to drink, you know, on February 5th or whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. So you might want to be careful with that because well, your friends will show up on, you know, February 5th knowing that your beer is ready to go. So, <laughs> but it's kind of a fun little feature. So. Yeah, it is pretty neat. And you've got, uh, you're constantly developing. I know you've got something, a, a new update that's coming out soon. Yeah, the one thing that uh, the app is, uh, a lot of users are asking for right now is to automatically calculate mash uh, temperatures and mash water volume additions, okay. infusions, deco decoction steps, and what have you. While it already supports mash steps, uh, it's kind of depending on you to say, you know, how much water to add and what temperature. Mm -hmm. um, I've always kind of felt that that's, you know, part of the fun in brewing and, and kind of, you know, winging it and learning your equipment. But I've had a lot of users request this feature. So um, in my final steps of uh, testing that right now, and that release will be out probably in about a month or so. I'm expect okay. expecting it to hit users and then it will automatically. It's still going to allow the free form. A lot of users feel that they know their equipment and their you know, settings better than any calculations because of all the variables in home brewing. So if you don't want to use so the automatic stuff, put it in there you yourself. can just put in your own. I want to add, you know, three quarts uh, or, you know, or maybe one quart per pound or maybe 12 quarts per, you know, infusion or something mm -hmm. at this temperature. Or you can use the auto cap calculation. Sure for features. a lot of people like starting out, that's they want to know exactly all that kind yeah. of stuff. At least have a guideline to exactly. give them a, an opportunity to to do what you said, learn their equipment, so. Mm -hmm. So how long did it take from concept to actually get it working? It's been a lot, a lot of late nights, <laughs> I can say that, a lot of, uh, a lot of late nights uh, drinking homebrew, but um, <laughs> the first version, like I said, was probably, um, 
you know, maybe six weeks or so just to develop the first version. And that version was, was pretty primitive. And I've had roughly 14 releases since that time of new features and enhancements. And uh, often people ask me, you know, when will it be done? And I pretty much say never. You know, the program <laughs> yeah, is right. done when you decide to stop working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's always things to add and features. I have so many requests from users and uh, so many things that I'm planning to do, but I just have different priorities on different things. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, th this whole process has probably made you pretty quick at doing all the programming because uh, you, uh, what you have, like four days to do, uh, this is the, the man that's going to develop or has developed the Hopcast new app. Hopcast app. So um, he kind of just showed up today and we we're like, well, let's talk about what we might want to do. And he's like, well, why don't I just show you? <laughs> he already had it done. So um, yeah, cheers to you on yeah, that. Too. Thank you. And we'll drink to that. It's a nice work. Yeah. I didn't even start out to do this. I started out just, to, it was a fun little app I put together and threw out there and thought, hey, you know, I like brewing and I like programming and I, you know, I was messing up my steps. So I put it together for myself and thought maybe this would be useful for some other brewers. and. It just took off. So, yeah. Uh, considering that success, I, I probably will be looking at uh, Android version sometime in the future. Cool. And you've got you've got quite a little bar set up at your place, from what I hear. Yeah. yeah What's two, going on uh, over there? Two triple taps. I got a six on tap right Puts now. Puts my place to shame. <laughs> <laughs> but like I told you, I brew more than I can uh, possibly drink it. But <laughs> I think that's what it comes down to. I just like uh, like brewing and like having all the different choices on tap. So. Yeah. Right. Um, so what's currently in the fermenters and what's, what do you got brewing now? Uh, right now on tap I have, I'm trying to think, a Blue Moon clone, um, a Saison, uh, a couple different wheats. I like wheat beers uh, on Oktoberfest. Um, and I just brewed uh, La Fin de Mon, which is well, my yeah, favorite. The favorite. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's quite a good beer. I might is that is that recipe on uploaded onto the server? No, it's not. Actually, I got a clone uh, recipe from uh, one of that's something I guess we didn't touch on. One of the other features I have in here is uh, suppliers. I get a lot of emails from people saying, "Hey, do you know you know where a good supplier is?" Uh, which you would think today with the internet, you know, it's so easy to find a lot of mm -hmm. these reputable suppliers. But people are lazy. Yeah, so I, I did I'll a lot of requests, you know, hey, do you know a good supplier? So I have a, a supplier section where I have companies like Northern Brewer and Austin Homebrew Supply and uh, Homebrew for Less right now. And I got a couple more shops coming on board in the next couple of weeks. Nice. Um, so actually, I think I got the Le Fin de Mon from uh, Austin Homebrew Supply. It's a clone recipe. Okay. But if somebody has a good well, recipe, huh? it's, it tastes, tasted really good going into the keg. Uh, it tasted almost complete, which I was really shocked at. So I'm <laughs> eh, no need to carb it. <laughs> yes, I, <laughs> that's pretty much what happened with the first class. So, um, but I am expecting that one to be very good. But I would absolutely love for somebody to to, to post, uh, you know, some of those recipes on the sharing network for everyone to share. Well, cool, very good. I mean, the uh, the app is amazing. Uh, I can't wait to actually do more with it. Obviously, I've just I've just started with my actual brew day so logging all the uh the secondaries and and all that kind of stuff is going to be fun so thanks so much for coming on the show thanks yeah. for having uh, me appreciate it really really kind of a cool thing and, and thanks for creating that little app for us absolutely yeah. that so, should be out shortly joe kenichi for all your app needs <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching